Hello everyone. Um, Jack and I just want to take a moment of your time to talk about something that was just sent to us. We're super excited to unbox it for you. Um, let me flip the camera around and show you. Da, 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 da. Jack, what do we got here? The Uoni V980 Plus including the self-empty dustbin. Yeah, that's nice. And I can show you guys a little bit more details on that here in a minute. So they sent this out to us, wanted uh, us to give it a test drive and uh, show it to you guys. Why yes, yes, we will always take things for test drives. Um, I'm super excited because you guys know we have Mr. Yes, Mr. Ace, um, who doesn't shed a lot, but he, brings in stuff from outside, pieces of grass and all that. So I'm, ex I'm excited to run this um, on the daily. Yes. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Yeah, because of you. Um, let's get Everybody this open. Everybody knows that having a uh, vacuum that does all the work for you yes. is a must have Sign in anybody's home. Sign me up, yes. <laughs> so. All right, let's give us a second and we'll pull this all out for you. We're already starting to get it out, but I'm already loving what it says right here. It pretty much says, set it and forget it. I mean, come on, that's perfect. <laughs> from our quick research, obviously we gotta give it a try, but what sets this aside from most of your in-home robot vacuums is that right there. The dustbin. <laughs> yes, the huge dustbin that can take up to a month before you gotta change it. So if any of you guys have had these at your house, you know you've gotta change out your dustbin pretty frequently for the most part, mm -hmm. you know? It does all the work for you, throughout the house, but you gotta empty it pretty frequently. This one is, what did it say out of the box? Set it and forget it? Yep, set it and forget so it. So it's got, we'll get more into it, but it's got cool features. Obviously you download the app, it's scan sensor, so it doesn't bump into stuff and break stuff around your house. But yeah, so the cool thing about this so far is, like I said, the set it and forget it. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. It's nice. Oh, <laughs> that's fancy. It's like rose gold, black, shiny. I like it. All right, let's 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 get it all put together. So that is the dust bin. So now I see what they're talking about. Yeah, it's a nice size. <laughs> Came with all the extra parts. Um, it also mops, so you can use this attachment and put some water in there and it'll mop the tile. So it came with an extra pad for that has a remote with batteries <laughs> yay for batteries of course the instructions and that's where we're getting started so we're going to go ahead and put it together and get it charged up and we will show you i don't know if we mentioned it before but links are going to be down below so you guys can pick one of these up for yourself shout out to yoni for sending these out to us we really appreciate it we obviously are going to charge it and um, take this bad boy for a test drive and kind of see how it does in our house <laughs> So we'll check back with you on that shortly. Right, all set up, all plugged in. It was just talking to us. I now need to scan a QR code to my phone and get it all set up. Well, look at that, it's doing its thing. So I think basically now it just needs to map out the house and then I can set it to go off at certain times. Um, is it gonna get stuck? Nope. Oh, look at that! I should it's have. It's got off-road wheels on the bottom. We didn't. I don't know if we showed that on the bottom of it, but it's got like big old. I thought it was gonna get stuck, but it didn't. It's got big old tires on the back that allows it to kind of turn and uh, hopefully not get stuck. Very cool. So once again, don't forget to use the links down below if you wanted to check out the vacuum um, or purchase one for yourself. Just go ahead. It's always linked down below. But I'm excited. I don't have to vacuum anymore. Let's see what it's doing. Still doing its thing, mapping out the house. All right guys, this is what we're talking about with the uh, extra large dustbin. Gonna do its thing on its own, empty itself right here. It's pretty cool. You guys can check it out. Start dirt collection. So that's what we were talking about. That's why they said it can take, look at that. It's not even close to full. So 
That's why they said it could take up to a month. So like we said, links down below. Thank you, Yuoni, for sending out the vacuum. We love it. Morning, everyone. Waking up, you guys. I need my coffee. <laughs> um, it is Saturday. Welcome to our weekend vlog. Jack is outside. Good morning, Jack. With the dog. That's not our dog barking. That's our neighbor's dog barking. But it is Saturday. Um, last week I said that Mason had a basketball tournament and a baseball tournament. Um, games were almost exact, so it didn't work out. Mason is choosing to do basketball today. So a basketball tournament weekend. So stay tuned for all that. But for now, I need to wipe the eye boogers out of my eyes and drink my coffee and wake up and start our weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Your mom and I had breakfast already. I guess you came down for brunch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it's all right. Part of being a teenager on a Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. You late basketball, so he slept in a little bit. Ace is just chilling. <laughs> Ace had breakfast like three hours ago. But... Well, he, he is an early man. Yes, he is. He's he the first up one up. He wakes up at 7 a.m. and he's like, food. <laughs> oh, don't say that again. No, I'm full for now. Good night, all right, Ace. well, enjoy your breakfast. Okay, thank Got you. a long day of sitting around and waiting now. Till we play some hoops. Chrissy may end up staying home or I may end up staying home. To watch this guy. To watch this guy. But that's fine. Part of owning a doggo, or at least our doggo anyway. I know some of you guys have dogs that just sit at home all day and don't do anything or wreak any havoc, but Ace is not that dog. <laughs> so we'll debate. So. We'll debate it and we'll see what we decide. But as of right now, I think it's just gonna be one of us going to the game, so. But, which is fine. Because both of our kids need our attention, right Mason? Yes. You and Ace. So I jokingly said to Mason, if you're hungry and you want lunch, you better come down and make it. And to my surprise, he said, okay. Mm -hmm. So he's making quesadillas. That one's mine first. He even said I could have the first one. So kind. You're welcome. But after this, oh yeah. After this, we're going to head out and head to basketball. Christy decided that she will stay home with the dogs. So I'll be going to basketball with Mason. So sorry, Mason, you get stuck with me. Ace is the big winner, because he gets stuck with mom. You guys should have a boys night. <laughs> <laughs> Christy's saying boys night, boys weekend, whatever. But yeah, when she dumped it off on me, she's just gonna sit here and watch playoff baseball. But, We'll see. Quesadilla. You, sir. You are why mom can't go to hoops. Say, I'm trying to learn to be a good boy. I'm trying to learn. You ready to rock? Yes. All right, Mason and I are out the door. I got you set up for baseball. I guess you already played, so if you just leave it here, you'll get baseball all day. If you want to watch girly shows and stuff after we leave, that's on you. But Mason and I are about to go out the door. Chrissy obviously is staying here because of the doggo. So she's found her spot on the couch. Like I said, got her set up for baseball. We are out. So the next few clips you guys see should be Mason playing some hoops. So we stopped and got a little barbecue. Mason is uh, <laughs> trying to keep barbecue sauce off his uniforms. So I let him do the napkin. They didn't have any bibs. I would have hooked you up with a bib. But, oh, that's a shame. So we both got the, uh, actually we got that thing. Boom. The anniversary meal. Mason, tell us all about it. 
uh, we got the pulled pork sandwich, fancy, with the meat on top. Then we got the side. I chose the baked potato casserole. Jack Beeville over here went with the waffle fries. Coming out <laughs> soon, fresh and ready. And yeah, why don't you get one of those? We got the treat, the anniversary. Beautiful. For the Dickies family. And that is my food review. Doing a great job. Tell you how I feel After the about meal, we'll decide how many stars food. it is. All right, that's all. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Day two of being a teenager and sleeping in. Mom and I are done with breakfast, but you woke up a little later. It's fine. It's part of being a teenager. Hey, and I'm trying to get my beauty sleep. <laughs> well, you might not need it, but I certainly do. We know. No, <laughs> well, enjoy your burrito, and then we're going to start getting ready to head out for basketball. Yes, sir. Good luck. Good luck. definitely not the answer. Yeah. Every pass is. Good job, Mason. Subway was delicious. We got some good food in. We ate fresh. Muy bien. Very good. Now, it's game time. Yeah. Now, it's party time. Eagles won. Cardinals are winning. Yes. Our fantasy teams. We'll talk about that. Currently in fantasy, if you're wondering, Mason and I are playing each other. Yes. And as a uh, little reminder of the score today, I just want to let you guys know that I beat him in fantasy baseball. And I just want to remind you guys that Mason Bebo beat this guy over here every single time. Whoa. Mason Bebo is beating Jack Bebo in fantasy football right now. And that's all that matters because really, baseball's gone. It's gone. We're in football season now. Hold this for me. Whoa, whoa. The game's not over yet. I'm just kidding. He'll probably come back. No, it's fine. All right. Game time. <laughs> Good luck. 
Goes up the middle. Good switch. What were you just saying? <laughs> yeah, he just said, Oh, I'm so tired. So we, uh, Chrissy already ate here without us, but uh, we stopped and got some Sonic because we were hungry after a long day of basketball. Jason's team just lost in the semifinals, so we came up a little short making it to the finals. So it was a weird weekend of basketball. Normally, basketball, the most break, the most time in between games you have is about an hour. But all weekend long, we had either two or three hour breaks. So it was kind of just a weird weekend. So like we didn't really do a lot, but we did a lot. Does that sound right, Mace? Yeah. Played a little bit of basketball, but we didn't really do a lot. We played like two or three games of basketball. But yeah, it was just big gaps and I don't know, it was weird. Like we were back, back and forth, back and forth. So we kind of ate and sat around for a while. Ooh, Ace wants to go. He needs to go potty probably. So on that note, Ace is gonna go outside and Use the restroom. Mace is gonna eat some Sonic and enjoy the rest of his evening. We're gonna watch some Sunday night football, maybe watch a little bit of the baseball playoffs. I need to take a nap first. It's too late for a nap. That's the, the debate Chrissy and I, uh, your mom and I always have on Sundays. Is it too late for a nap? Mason says no, I say yes. Ace is laying down. So Ace says it's not too late for a nap. Mason. What should we tell everybody? <laughs> We're deliriously tired, guys. It's been a long weekend. Uh, Subscribe, like, yeah. leave a comment, <laughs> <laughs> click the bell, do all the stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you. Oh, next time. Next time. Woo!